Awesome, man. So, like, thank you, dude, for taking the time just to of come course. on this Zoom call with me today. It's been a minute since we've gotten to, like, you know, formerly chat and everything. Yeah, it's good to see you, man. Yeah, Looking absolutely. These days. So, I mean, just hopping right into it. Kind of what were you hoping to get out of this appointment? I know I kind of beforehand sent you a little bit of everything. Maybe give yourself a little yeah, bit yeah. of idea, like, fill me in. You know, I thinking, so I wanted to like know more about healthy foods. I wanna wanna be healthier. I've been taking steps towards that recently, so awesome. So like you can help out. Dude, that's that's sick. Um, so sounds like right now just steps in the right direction towards more of like a, a, a healthier, not even like a mindset, but like more of just like a healthier lifestyle. And that's yeah, great that like exactly. you kind of recently started taking those changes too, like even before this. So before we like jump right into it, let's, I, I kind of want to, I want to take a step and just see more so of like a specific change rather than just a healthier like lifestyle. Like, do you have anything more specific that you've been considering in the realms of health? Um, definitely like eating better. You know, okay. I don't, I don't tend to do that very well. I think, I mean, I'm living on that college budget, so yeah. It's not that easy, but yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that makes sense. College kids. I, I feel you, dude. Um, it's, it, it really isn't, especially trying to just balance time and everything. And then exactly you have the time or even the funds. It's like, oh man, do I even want to make this meal after I've exhausted myself at like a work shift or at classes all day? So mm -hmm, both, both. Absolutely. So it's like, it's just tough, but I, I respect that. Like you just coming on really wanting to make that that change in that healthier foods area. So like mm -hmm. how do you feel this change would just benefit you overall? Um I think that being healthier is probably a good thing in the long term. Like just to extend my life, you know, I feel like maybe I've shortened it these past few years, not eating well, not, not okay. feeding myself properly. And okay. I want to get it back, you know? Absolutely. So like really just taking control over what you're, yes. what you've been doing. Yeah. And uh, that's, that's a good thing. Like control in a, in a good sense too, because I've talked to people and it's like, Oh, they just, they feel the need to control everything, but that control kind of comes off in a negative sense. So it's like, the fact that you're able to to see it and want to do it more in a positive benefit is just it's really good. So I'm like, it makes me happy for you, man. Yes. Um, now, Jacob, how do you think this change like will get you to where you want or like where you see yourself? Hopefully, like it will just improve my overall health. You know, I'll be able to like work out and you know maybe I'll enjoy it more if I feel better while I'm okay. working out or yeah. Or just doing like everyday things. I hope to to feel better as well. If I if I change my lifestyle, my eating lifestyle, I feel like okay. hopefully that could be one of the the end goals. Yeah. So like just fueling your body to what you feel like might be properly will like inevitably give you that energy for just the just the day to day tasks. Yes. Exactly. That's awesome, dude. And then so kind of what what do you not really appreciate about not eating as healthily as you want to right now? Like mm. feeling wise, you know, I don't know. I, I just feel kind of dragged down throughout the day. You know, I feel like okay. I could be, I could be having more energy and be more enthusiastic when I'm talking to people and All right. just experiencing things. Awesome. I mean, and it sounds like you kind of already know that, or not even no, but like kind of have that feeling that making this change will lead you to having a little more of that just energy for everything like we'd already touched on, which is that I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Um, And then do you kind of have like anybody in your life right now that that would support you in this change? You know what I mean? Like family, friends, just people like that. Absolutely. I think that like, if I tell my parents this, they might try and help me like financially so I can make this change to my lifestyle, my eating habits. Maybe some of my friends will be like, instead of going out, maybe we can cook in and have a nice yeah. meal or something. That's sweet. Yeah. yeah. I that's, hope so. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and I guess first part of that battle is honestly kind of just reaching out right there in the end. 
being like, mm -hmm. hey, like let's let's get this started, which is which is sweet. And then so Jacob, we've kind of talked about this change a lot now, obviously. How how do you think you could go about making this change in your like day to day life? I think uh, maybe I just need to be more focused on it. Okay. You know, sometimes sometimes I'm like, I just need to eat this meal real quick and get out and and go go to work or something. Yeah. So uh, I don't really, if I prepare like beforehand, set set this time so I can actually make some healthy food or yeah, yeah, I think that will that would be a good step. That's awesome. So like, kind of just planning things out a little more in advance, so you kind of have that area to just to eat those foods that you feel like will benefit your body in a more healthy yeah. sense and that's awesome do you have like kind of any other ideas of how you could go about making this change rather than just kind of like meal planning i mean yeah 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 meal planning i could do that i could plan what i'm going to eat throughout the week maybe when i go to the store instead of instead of just looking around i could have an actual list and yeah. i like i don't do that now so maybe that that'd be a good step as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Those sound those sound like some great ideas. One hundred percent. I really like the um the list idea because I mean I feel you. I, I'm that same way. Just go to the store and then get whatever is either cheapest or most convenient. You know what I mean? And then mm -hmm. just go about the time. So that that's I just that's perfect that you brought that up. And then, uh, ooh, awesome. So like Jacob, would you be kind of interested in experimenting with this change because i mean you sound like you're ready for it so yeah oh, i'm absolutely sweet. open to it awesome so if if you don't mind i i'd like to share like just a couple of uh strategies that we've kind of talked about already but more so in a planning sense mm -hmm. all right sweet so we kind of we talked about meal planning and making a list for grocery shopping i feel like those go hand in hand with one another so maybe I mean, what has kind of worked for other people that I've talked to in regards to this, they kind of, so they'll have an idea, right, of of, of food that they'll want to make. And then based on that food that they'll want to make, they'll have that list that they'll take to the store. And rather than just making it for one night, they'll make it for like three to four times or like they'll have it meal prepped three to four times out of the week so they can just if they do find themselves in that time crunch, because I mean, we talked about earlier, college kid, press for time all the time. If they do find themselves in that time crunch, they can just kind of grab and go with a meal like that, pop in the mm -hmm. microwave. And then it kind of, not only does it, I wouldn't even say it eliminates that guilt, but it just, it gives you that nutrition that you're looking for. And then at, afterwards you can, you're thinking like, oh, like I made this meal and it, and, and it wasn't as difficult as I had thought. And it was cheaper than like maybe even going out to eat. Uh, what what do you think of that? Like, does that sound? I, like I think something? it's a great that's a great plan. That's a great idea. Awesome, I, I, I appreciate I that. I'm, I'm yeah, glad. Yeah. Do you have any like? Uh, how how often do you think you could be like implementing a plan like this, or maybe even something else entirely that you may have, like throughout I, the week? I, I would hopefully be able to do it for every meal every day. I mean, I don't I don't eat every every meal every day, but this would also be like a good way to start doing that and get my my necessary calories and vitamins and such. Abs so. Absolutely. Especially because like, I mean, you were talking about, you go to the gym. So like that hitting that caloric intake is honestly, it's really important just for feeling energized enough to go to the gym and then finish off throughout the day. So we were, you kind of said, hopefully you'd be shooting for every meal out of the day. So I assume it looks like a nuclear meal set, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have kind of like uh so, I feel like going every meal out of the day, seven days a week is is a little tough. Not not to discourage you or anything. I'm sure someone like you could definitely do it. It it is just a I feel like it's a high, high set goal just to start. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just kind of that mental barrier of, oh, maybe I don't hit it this week. And it kind of maybe might even just discourage you just a little bit. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't I don't want to deter you from not setting that high goal, but maybe coming down to to something maybe even like four days out of the week where you're getting breakfast, lunch, and dinner meal prepped, you know, and then the days that you aren't, you're finding things that you enjoy, but aren't, uh, you don't feel that are a detriment to your health. What do you, what do you think along those lines? Yeah, just to start, I feel like that, that sounds like a pretty good idea. That's the, I, that's I agree with you that seven days a week, three, three meals a day, that sounds like a lot of work just to I, yeah. start off. 
And then so, you, and then you even like need the Tupperware and everything too to make sure you've got like twenty one meals prepped. So like even just starting off small. Yeah. Uh, do you have any like kind of ideas for meals that you would like to make to meal prep? Um, I was just a, probably like a basic meat, yeah. uh, carb vegetable meal. Like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Let's let's start with breakfast, like um, <laughs> like like a breakfast burrito or something along those lines. Like sure, just... sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like. I don't know, eggs and bacon. And yeah, toast right. and just, something basically. simple, right? right? Like, it doesn't have to be too complicated. Just something to just, like, yeah, I'm eating, like, feeling up. So that, that'd be sweet. Um, What kind of uh, factors do you think you, you would have to consider when it comes to making this change? So we kind of talked about, like, just having the necessary means, so, like, the Tupperware and everything. Yeah, like, anything else would be a, a, an important factor to consider for you in making this change? Just probably, like, the time thing you know with okay. uh, there's not i mean i'd probably have to set a time to wake up and make these meals like every day or, or maybe a couple of days out of the week for for the next few days so yeah that's the only th thing i can think about that might Absolutely. be a problem, obstacle well, well coming up to this barrier then like how do you see yourself getting around it yeah maybe maybe just setting alarm getting up earlier or making sure that I have to do this at this time. So okay. I like just have that discipline because I think that'd be having a discipline to do that would also be good in other areas of my life. Like that's an Ooh. addition to. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Um, um, if you don't, if you don't mind me sharing something about this, that has kind of worked for other people I've talked to in this realm, it, they kind of start on a, uh, on a set day throughout the week. And then so they'll, they'll start their meals, say they have time on a, on a Sunday, right? So that, so they'll start Sunday morning. They'll make that list, right, of foods. They'll go to the mm -hmm. store. They'll get those foods. They'll come back, and maybe maybe they'll be watching football or something while they're in the kitchen prepping those meals for the week. And then throwing them in the freezer just so they kind of have them as a grab-and-go. Mm -hmm. how, how does that sound? I like that, yeah. That, I like, like just taking good. a – Right, taking just like a little bit of time just to like sit down. And then, like you said, it kind of gives you that dis whole discipline aspect to it. Like it gives you like just one day out of the week where you're like, okay, it's not multiple times throughout the week where I have to feel like I have to do this. I just got one day where I just sit down and buckle in and I can just do this while I'm like maybe watching a, watching a video or listening to a podcast or something. Yeah. Awesome. I like that idea. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. I'm glad. Um, Now, Jacob... <laughs> How confident are you on about a scale of zero to 10, zero being not too confident, 10 being, I believe that I can do this, that you can kind of get this, get this change going, you know, get the well, ball yeah. going. I've been looking to make this step. So maybe like a seven, se okay. six or seven. That's not, yeah. that's not bad. And I mean, that's, that's higher than a five, right? So, so what made, you, what made you choose not? Like what, what, what didn't make you choose a five, you know, that's six or seven. That, that's a good, that's a good basis I, to be in. Yeah. Like I, I've been looking to make this step. But I think it's about time that I, I crunch down on this and, and okay. hopefully we'll, we'll do this. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's amazing. That's six or seven. I, I, uh, I hope in the next coming sessions that like we can, we can even bump that up and that the change is kind of uh transpiring in your sense, you know, like just all, all on your terms too, at the same time which I feel like is the biggest thing is just um, making sure that it's all on your terms. And I feel like, honestly, if anything, like to get this six or seven, maybe even to like just a solid flat seven, we bump it down from four meals a week to just having it three times a week, maybe on the days where you do have class the longest or you're at work and per se, you like have to close or you have to open and you don't have that time. So like maybe even just uh, readjusting the goal to a bit of a lesser time so you can meet it. And then from there, you can either grow on it or sit with it and then grow on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Some good stuff. Well, that, that, that's amazing. Um, just, uh, just to touch back on everything real quick, uh, I, if you don't mind, I would like you just to give me like a little bit of a rundown and kind of the plan that we haven't set for you before we get to see each other again in a couple of weeks. Yeah. So, no, we're a little frozen. Oh, we good? Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Okay, cool. So yeah, like make a list, go to the store on Sunday, make these, make these meals, hopefully like probably Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. And then, and then I'll have those meals, those meals that are good for me. So 
hopefully that will change my mood and just make give me more energy throughout those days. And if it does, we can we can bump it up. Well, awesome, man. It, it sounds perfect. And you've got the idea and we've come to that. So it's, well, I mean, we, we get to see, we get to see how, how well it's either been working or not. And even if it doesn't work, like don't get discouraged from it too. Like it, it's, it's okay. Like you're human, right? Like life is chaotic and everything. So it's, even if you maybe only get it two meals out of the week or it's like, or you have to spread it over longer and you're like, Oh, I didn't eat breakfast today. But like, I saved this meal prep for tomorrow because I knew I would need it tomorrow. So it's, it's, it's just, just those things. Right. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Um, thank you, dude, for taking that time with me. Yeah, uh, no, I appreciate you. Thanks for, for walking me through this. Uh, that's, that's no problem. I, I look forward to our next session in two weeks. Yeah, man. It was nice seeing you. I mean, you too. You have a great, you have a great rest of your day, bro. Yeah, you as well. Awesome. I catch you.